which is not only to win the regular season conference, the tournament championship, but make a run in the tournament. They've done that. They believe they believe in each other. The support system, 33 points off the bench. So it's not just the starting five. It's what you have value on the bench. That's why they've been so successful. And right now, this is going to be a test for both teams mentally, toughness, and also playmaking ability. Let's get this thing going. Florida Atlanta controls the opening tip, and Brian Greenlee opens up the scoring as he drills a three-pointer, and that is FAU's game. Our three officials, Doug Shouse, Doug Sermons, Earl Walton. Here's Tomlin, blocked by the seven-footer, Golden, Glad Golden from Russia. Actually towers at 7-1. Florida Atlantic, not a very big team, but they do have two players in the post that give them some rebounding, including the seven-footer, Golden. Elijah Martin, one of their top players, gives it to John L. Davis. And Davis travels at a Florida Atlantic turnover. But the close out there in regards to shutting down Davis's attempt at the rim. You talked about Florida Atlantic being a good rebounding team. Offensive rebounding too. Why? Because they spread you out. We saw that against you know, the last opponent, what they were able to do against Tennessee, a bigger, longer team. But they pride themselves on collectively as a group rebounding the basketball. One of the all-time NCAA tournament games in the Sweet 16. Michigan State and Kansas State. And a block by Davis. Plenty of time on the clock here. Timer down to nine, and Noel's going to let it fly. Nick Boyd comes away with a rebound. Here come the Owls of FAU at a Conference USA. Florida Atlantic, both top 20 in offensive and defensive rating starting this tournament. Very good on both sides of the ball. Greenlee, hot hand early. Nope, missed it. Golden, the rebound, and that's going to be a foul on Kansas State. It already... Vlad Golden having an impact early in this one. Well, you see the offensive rebound, and because of the dribble penetration, the ball shifting from right to left, you end up taking a body off of Golden. And that time, he's able to use that seven-foot frame to go over the top of two Wildcat defenders to secure an offensive rebound. John L. Davis guarded by Noel. That'll be a matchup to watch all night, a pair of number ones right there. Three-pointer misses from Boyd. Second chance here, Golden again. On the take goes Martin, and it's going the other way. Offensive foul. Keontae Johnson standing in there, taking the charge. But Golden able to tip it out. Martin on the drive. Keontae Johnson seeking out exactly where Martin was going to get to, able to set his feet. Again, you know your contact is coming, but these are the plays when you take away what could be a layup away from a team like FAU are important to, you know, winning basketball games. Noel, a little floater, no good. There's Golden with a rebound. He's got four boards already. Glad Golden, four rebounds, two offensive rebounds. Davis, they'd like to get him started a little earlier tonight. He's been a second half performer. FAU turns it over, and that's going to be a foul. Well, I believe they're going to get Boyd on the foul. Or was it just out of bounds? So it'll be side out. Jerome Tang, first year head coach at Kansas State, longtime assistant at Baylor, national championship team in 2021 as an assistant under Scott Drew. What an incredible job he's done. Kansas State was picked last in the Big 12 to start the year. Keontae Johnson, that's one of their big gets. Ian Noel averaging over 17 a game. Be patient. Don't go away from that. A couple times in their last game, he hit that shot, but then he chose to step on the next play for a step back three. Continue to milk that cow until FAU can figure out ways to take that away. Noel picks up his first assist. Davis pulls a three. Missed it badly, but a foul under the basket here. It's going to stay on this side of the floor. I love this mid-post game because Keontae Johnson at 6'6 can shoot over the top. And listen, keep it simple. If you're able to get there, get to your spot, two dribbles over your left shoulder, utilize that every time, and then you can get the pump fake, then you can get the rip through, but you have to set everybody up and don't bail out your opponent by taking a tough you know, step back three-pointer. They put that uh -oh. foul on Nick Juan Tomlin, and turnover, here goes Carter all the way. Wow, that's a break. 
So the Kansas State foul ends up as an opportunity for Florida Atlantic down under their basket, but a very costly turnover and an easy bucket. Florida Atlantic with three consecutive turnovers, last three trips down the floor. Okay! Wow, Elijah Martin just wrecking the rim right there. Wow. Early highlight, put that one on the board. Here's the lefty Desi Sills. Strings one for Kansas State. This game's going to have a lot of pop to it. Both teams want to go up and down. High flyers, three-point shooters. This is going to be some fun right here as Davis knocks one in. His first basket of this Elite Eight. I just love the pace. This is what both teams want to do. Now, as we get later into this game, which team can get stops like this? Boyd with the strip. Davis running the floor. Kansas State gets back. Davis can't finish. Boyd comes out of the pack with the rebound. And it's going to be a foul on Kansas State. And a shot to the face of Johnson. A beautiful backdoor cut. Now at MSG, we're on the fifth floor. That elevator went up to floor number nine. The shot was stuck on level five. Wow. Will be the matchup of the winner of this one. East plays South at the Final Four in Houston. Giancarlo Rosado is in for Florida Atlantic. Big man number three in red. Here's a three by Martin. So Elijah Martin has come to play. He's got a big thunder dunk. And now a three-pointer in Florida Atlantic in front, 10-7. Beautiful underneath out-of-bounds out of play. The patience to get the ball in the middle of the court, shrunk the defense and open it up for Mark for the three. Deontay Johnson going strong, but he can't finish it. Boyd sprinting out of the pack. Very similar styles with these two teams, so they practice against these styles and know it's important to get back. Transition defense will be a huge one today. Rosado moving bodies. Can't knock his first jumper down. What you know, also what would be important is right here, like open shots, dribble penetration, but also how each team will deal with guarding the pick and roll. Now you go back to this underneath out of bounds play. It's a simple play, but what happens is you get the ball near the middle. Now it's a two on one on the weak side. Open money. Martin, like you talked about, off to a great start. That's excellent patience. But keep in mind, it was the pass. The pass yeah. was put right into the shooting po pocket of Martin. You see it, 359, three point field goals made this season. The Owls is because they're an excellent passing team. And John L. Davis is kind of the center of that hub, right? We heard. Jerome Tang, Kansas State head coach, says we cannot let John L. Davis into those spots that you just pointed out. They got to move him off. Martin showed three, take it on Johnson, and lost the handle. It's going the other way. So, Florida Atlantic again. The turnover story big early for him. They've given it away five times. Dusty May. Knows he's going to have to give up some turnovers by playing as fast as they do. David Gasson will sit, and Ish Masood, who hit some big threes in the Sweet 16, hit four of them, as a matter of fact, against Michigan State. Well, the turnovers, too, depending on what, if they're a dead ball turnover, they don't hurt you as much. It's the live ball turnovers that allow Kansas State to get out in transition and run and convert those. Those are the ones that they want to be concerned about. Conversely, Kansas State does turn it over a lot as well, but only five against the Spartans. That's Tomlin in the corner. Nice setup, beautiful stroke. And the big man, Naquan Tomlin, also from Harlem. Another New York City kid. Ties it at 10. Kansas State has four players from New York City. And they are loving being here at Madison Square Garden, playing on this floor for the first time. A takeaway. Again, FAU loose with the basketball. Here's Masood, dials it up, knocks it down. B.A., live ball turnover. Mm -hmm. Now the numbers are in favor of Kansas State. And right there, Masood made you pay for it. One with the reverse. Wow, what a finish. Elijah Martin showing all his athleticism here. Noel gets to the cup. 
Mr. New York City is what his Twitter handle says. That's his brother Marcus. He's loving every minute of it. Got a chance at a three-point play. About two feet in the paint. And yet, you, you, you got to understand it, not to overreact and overhelp. But when you do that, he beats you in transition, off the turnover, money in the bank, and then Noel. Now, listen, he's going to make some of these, but you can't panic. You want to force him to be able to shoot and make it consistently over height. What's going to beat you is not his two-point shots, but when he gets inside, you collapse, you overcommit, and now he's spraying and then just knocking down threes from everywhere. Three points, four assists already for Noel. Forrest just into the game. Michael Forrest, who got cooking in the second half against Tennessee after not scoring in the first two games of the NCAA tournament. Michael Forrest, it's his last season. Most of these players are coming back and have eligibility left, but number 11 in red does not, so you know the urgency is high. Noel misses a long three. Rosado kept it alive. Jalen Gaffney, the UConn transfer, comes away with a rebound. Davis finds Rosado. Rosado goes strong and finishes. Beautiful play, but quickness. Now, this team, FAU, is very adept at cutting and moving without the basketball. And you, we've seen it on a number of occasions. Martin backdoor that time, right off the dribble penetration. Rosado timed it up perfectly to make his dive, ultimately catch and finish inside the lane. Noel. Finds his longtime friend, teenage buddies, playing ball in Rucker Park, and they were excellent in the Sweet 16. Masood can't come up with that little mid-range jumper. And Florida Atlantic, a chance to take the lead. Davis misses. Here comes Noel. Head up. Bounce pass. Threading the needle. And Johnson just plowing over Michael Forrest. Offensive foul. And a Kansas State turnover. It's ironic you talked about Michael Forrest. Michael Forrest was Dustin May's first recruit. The only senior on the team. He's been there throughout the course of it, of what's been happening. He, he's the record holder at FAU in three-pointers three pointers with 297. Played in 133 games. Started 87. So he's been here from the beginning and started with Coach May. Coach May stuck with him. He said he was starting to teeter on losing some rotation minutes. Inside, Golden powers one down. Brandon Weatherspoon just on the floor finds his big man. Beautiful high low, but Golding doing his work early, set it up, able to seal Tomlin on the high side and finish it at the rim. Tomlin going right at Golding. The seven foot Russian and Tomlin, he's got some skills too. He's another one from Harlem. Juco All American transferring into Kansas State. If you don't know the Wildcat story, they do not have a single player that started their collegiate careers at Kansas State. Everybody's new. Golden, another beautiful feed and a finish. That's seven assists on nine made field goals for FAU. Noel on a dime. See, you can't get the floater to drop though. But that's the perfect defense. Force him to shoot that floater, stay at home, He's going to make a few, but you don't want him to beat you by passing to his players on the perimeter. Nice feed from the big man this time. Oh! Returns the favor. This time, Golden to Weatherspoon. It's high level basketball high right level. now. It's fun, man. High level basketball. This is really good. It's a 10 2 run. FAU leads it by four. Their offensive foul. Golden has come to play. Listen, who said the big man is obsolete? You get a high, low inside, you come right back to it. Golden able to finish with his offense and said, listen, not to be outdone. You cut, I pass, you score, put us up four. For Kansas State, it's been 59 years since their last Final Four. 1964 Final Four, led by the legendary Tex Winter, the Hall of Famer, the author of the Triangle Offense. Now it's in the hands of a first-year head coach, Coach Tang, standing by with Allie LaForce.
Coach, the pace of this game has been electric. How is the speed of this game compared to what you wanted it to be? No, it's just fine. I don't mind the pace of the game. I, I do mind the easy back doors that we've given up and the, the offensive rebounds. Uh, so we got to do better. Thank you, Coach. Ali talked about the offensive rebounds. This game is all about attention to detail in the scouting report. You know that FAU loves to cut back door. With that movement, you got to search and find the body in order to prevent those offensive rebounds. Yet, the pace of the game favors FAU from that perspective. They're moving so fast now, the Wildcats can't locate a body. They're either giving up the back door cut or they're giving up an offensive rebound. Let's see if they make the adjustment, the Wildcats, as they come out this time out. Golden's been great for them already. Noel with four assists at this point. Florida Atlantic has 12 rebounds. They are plus nine in the rebounding category. Four of those offensive rebounds. Plus three of that category. Davis. Everybody gets a touch here. Down inside to the big man, and he is fouled. So not only is Golden scoring and dishing and grabbing rebounds, he's starting to pin some foul trouble on the bigs of the Wildcats as Gasson picks up his second. 17 fouls already, and it's in the bonus for the Owls with 10.04 left in this first half. The weave sets up Golden. See how he gets right inside? So that weave out front occupies the defenders while Golden is able to seal Gasson inside for deep post position and then a perfectly placed pass. Send it to Allie the force David. with Vlad Golden. What do you have, Allie? Well, after the win on Thursday, he had the most stoic face I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. I mean, just stone straight face. And I asked him why yesterday. He said, well, because I knew he would win. I expected to win. So I'm not going to act surprised. Love the confidence <laughs> from him. They also call this team the Beach Boys because of their location in Florida. And he goes, I love it. I can't wait to prove them all wrong. <laughs> it's right there. They got that coastline there in Boca Raton, Florida. And uh, they're less than two miles from the beach and the ocean. And certainly uh, Vlad Golden from Russia is enjoying plenty of beach time. Left-handed jump hook, no good by Weatherspoon. Here comes Noel and the Wildcats. Sills. Ooh, Sills, skillful. Able to get one in, takes the contact. And a three-point opportunity for Desi Sills. In transition, heads up, Noel. The timing of the pass makes sense because if he gives it up too early, Seals doesn't have the lane, but that time Seals understanding that the contact would come and he's able to get it. Can I send a couple shout outs to my old Wildcats, old head, sure. Rolando Blackman, who was at Dallas before I got there. Love Ro. Okay, and my man, Mitch Richmond. Oh, man, okay. I didn't know we were going deep into the roll of oh, yeah, with like just some random people. No, I'm old. So those are my old ass. It's like name dropping us here, Jim. Who else you want to shout out? Michael just, Jordan? Just, this way, this way. I got a couple more for you. <laughs> that end one for Kansas State snapped a 12 2 Florida Atlantic run. It's a four point game. Uh -uh. And a turnover. Ichiola, first minute's on the floor, and he's got a dunk. Abayami Egiola, the 25-year-old, the old head with these Kansas State Wildcats. Coming in, making a quick impact. Two-point game. You know this one's going to go back and forth. Dusty May talked about the spurts of Florida Atlantic. They want to ride them and extend them as long as they can. They also endure some droughts. Nice pass. Well, the spoon had it knocked out of his hands. And it looks like Egiola... Will be called for it as we look at the battle for possession presented by Coke Zero Sugar. But that was just a lazy pass. That was thinking that the pass of Golden would be there. And in that particular case, it was just easy money on the back end of that. But think about this. The seven turnovers. A lot of them are just sloppy turnovers by FAU. You're going to have to clean that up because in the balance of the game, when you're giving your opponent opportunities, you're never able to stretch out the lead or you're in the plan from behind. And now you're giving opportunities to your opponents to get more shots than you. And you're taking those shot opportunities where you're scoring at a high rate away from yourself in the half court set. This feels a lot like Florida Atlantic's game against Tennessee in the Sweet 16. Remember the first 10 minutes. 
first 12 minutes they had nine turnovers then they didn't have one the last eight minutes of that first half they kept themselves in the game they would have a terrific second half and they took down the Tennessee Volunteers a much bigger more athletic team in a lot of ways certainly size was a big discrepancy but it was Tennessee's impact long length that they had to adjust to early in this game this is just ill-advised passes some things being lazy and that's where the results of those turnovers are coming from that's more mental than anything officials took a peek at each other and Earl Walton makes the call says it's Kansas State ball that was close 817 left in this first half remember Kansas State racking up all those fouls so bonus the rest of the way for the Owls. Kansas State has 12 points off turnovers at this point. Tough pass for EGA to handle. Now it's going the other way. So a giveaway for Kansas State. Florida Atlantic has turned that into seven points off turnovers. We'll see what they do with it here. Looking for their first trip to the Final Four in program history. And Green Lee, that's before the shot. And the foul is going to belong to Cam Carter. Take your breath. The under eight timeout. Carter picks up his second. Florida Atlantic ball leading by four when we come back. Take a look at our game summary. Four point game, up and down affair between Florida Atlantic and Kansas State. Rebounding numbers are significant at this point. And Florida Atlantic with the seven turnovers already. Moment ago, Allie LaForce with head coach May of Florida Atlantic. Well, coach, 12 of their points have come off of the turnovers. What are they doing defensively to cause those miscues? They're being physical. The ball's staying on one side. Their ball screen coverage has been very aggressive, which has thrown us off. We've got to arrive at the screens alone, create some more space. Defensively, any gaps in the way that they're executing the game plan and the scouting report? Their role guys have stepped up and made threes. We just can't give them easy baskets and transition off turnovers. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Good stuff there from Dusty May. Thanks to Allie LaForce. Conference USA Coach of the Year, Dusty May. Three years as an assistant at Florida. Now his fifth year at FAU. And Jimmy, the win over Tennessee Thursday was his 100th win as a collegiate coach, head coach at FAU. So a bit of a milestone. We love round numbers. <laughs> and 100 is the number. He's hoping for 101 to get he and this program to the Final Four for the first time. It's only the second time Florida Atlantic has been in the NCAA tournament. They chipped off their first Conference USA title, their first NCAA tournament title, then the first Sweet 16, first Elite Eight, you get it. They're doing something that's never been done in program history. And back to Abby's report earlier about the beach and maybe the team not being as tough. Their mantra, the team's mantra, since it is a paradise, is defend the paradise. Don't let anybody <laughs> come in here and take it away. So it, it, it just fits this group of dudes that just want to play and show the world that they're capable of winning at any level. Back to Alley. They want to be the Beach Boys on offense. They said they're cool with that, but they want to be pit bulls and Rottweilers on defense. <laughs> I love hey, it. Pit bulls like the Beach too. Here's Carter. Steps into one. Clock at nine here. And a hot pass. And it's Masood. Lost the handle. That was too much steam on that one from Carter. And another Kansas State turnover. So now that's their fifth. And you see Florida Atlantic turning it into nine points. With this frenetic play, you figured there would be turnovers. But I think both coaches would agree it's a little much at this point. See who settles in here first. FAU by six, and Greenlee, boom, in and out it goes. That was halfway down. Kansas State in the Elite Eight for the 13th time. They had a great run through the late 40s and 50s and 60s. They were in the Elite Eight five years ago. We were there for that one. Beat Kentucky in the Sweet 16. Lost to Loyola Chicago in Louisville that year. Noel rises up. Little man knocks it down. So let's talk a little bit about the ankle here. He looks good. I don't see any hesitation in that badly sprained right ankle. What do you see, Jim? Lateral movement is great. You see the explosion in spring. That time a little late closing out as they got scrambled around defensively. But you don't see the lingering effect of that sprained ankle. Lot two, he didn't come down on someone's foot. It was more so 
on his own reconnaissance when he stepped in. So that's a good sign. Looking good right now. They clear it out. He's got the big man on him. And a nice feed inside. And Sills finishes. Well, you see, see the help right there, B. Once you help, you take the man out. He, he's going to do an excellent job of seeking and finding the open teammate. Whoa. Almost a turnover. Tomlin pulled the chair on Janelle Davis. That'll be a, a held ball. Kansas State possession. Well, the ankle does look good here. Good defense by Martin. Able to pull up in a nice range where he felt comfortable. And then on the baseline, the explosion. The help comes trying to take a charge for Martin. Don't know why you're going to leave the baseline. I understand you're going to help. But you, you don't need help. The, the thing about defense is this. is understanding when your teammate has a man under control or when he needs help. That's a fine line, and sometimes it can be blurred like that last defensive possession by FAU. Six assists for Noel, averaging 14 a game in the NCAA tournament. Puts up a long three, got fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot three. Nick Boyd put his hand in there, and a vet move, a wise move by Marquise Noel. Three free throws coming. Uh, Tim Thomas texted me today, the former, you know, UConn player, but also, I mean, Villanova player, but also NBA played. We played together at uh, Philadelphia. But uh, Noel played for his AAU team. And he talked about the toughness, the willingness to compete, never give up, the big heart. Jimmy, let's take a look at the advanced stats presented by Invesco QQQ. And it is focused on... Marquise Noel. One more free throw coming here. He's accounted for 62 plus percent of his team's points in the first three games of the NCAA tournament. That is an otherworldly number. This is scoring, this is passing to set up twos and threes. In the Sweet 16 game, he accounted for 63 points of the 98 that Kansas State scored. He's on the board for 23 points created tonight. You know I love points created. I know you do. is created. But think about this. What about the hockey assists? We don't count those as well because he sucks in so much gravity that sometimes it's the pass that's the next pass that gets an open shot because of his playmaking ability. Forrest finds gold to that extra pass. Another spoon gives it right back. A little bit of a scramble here for FAU. They get back in it. And that one, too spicy for Golden to handle. And Florida Atlantic has turned it over for the ninth time. They averaged nine turnovers a game in this NCAA tournament, first three. And they're already at nine. And Jerome Tang's Wildcats making it tough on them early. Well, but Kansas State did an excellent job of keeping the ball on the right-hand side of the court. So it was easier to defend. That's not... <laughs> that, what I tell you about the pick and roll defense that one right there Noel able to find his crease Leaning forward a little bit and now he and Martin talking a little bit to each other Kansas State in front It's an 8-0 run to get him there Does FAU have an answer Forrest Tyke Green is on the floor for the first time excellent defender And he's trying to make sure Forrest doesn't get going Dangerous pass. Greenlee has it. Three to shoot. Fly by by Carter, and that one's cash. Brian Greenlee. He has found the stroke early in this one. Second made three. He's got eight. FAU back in front. Four and a half to go in this first half. And yeah, that's going to be a foul on the perimeter. No shot. Different coverages here. Oh, you want to get over the top, and Golden is going to sink back and play a little drop coverage. Noel understood that, that he had enough room to get off of that and be able to get the shot at Greenlee. Good patience, good ball fake. Got to be solid on the defensive end for Kansas State. Cam Carter has to stay down and force Greenlee to shoot over the top. Greenlee transferred in from Minnesota. Had six against Tennessee in the Sweet 16. Scored 10 in their opener against Memphis. Noel finds Green in the corner, gives it right back. Noel trying to shake Green Lee, their best defender. It's a foul. Man, he is so quick. 
fast, quick. And by the way, that's a plant on the right ankle. It looks Oops, sound and strong. That is a great sign for Kansas State and their fans. And as Ali reported earlier, they were very surprised. There was very little swelling yes. with that ankle yesterday. He participated fully in practice, albeit a light day for Kansas State. But it looked for a moment like he was going to be out when he rolled that ankle, a bad roll of that right ankle against Michigan State. Well, and that coverage right there was an easy switch because there was two guards up top, okay, on Noel. But the issue is, we go back to defensive discipline. He kind of got Noel under control a little bit. He's going to pull up for a jump shot. Why reach down? That's when you have to be, I know it's tempting to kind of want to take it away and reach down and slap away, but when you do that, the higher percentage of the time, the officials are going to call the foul. So you don't want to bail Noel out by reaching down, committing the foul, now putting him to the free throw. Marquise Noel with 13. He's got 10 points in the last three minutes. 13.6 assists. Kansas State has leveled it at 34 as we approach the four-minute mark. Rosano trying to turn the corner on Ishiola. Hooked him. Yep. Offensive foul. Turnover number 10 for Dusty Mays Owls. Well, actually, Rosado got away with it maybe a little bit earlier on his initial attack of the basket. That one was an easy call by the official. Timeout on the floor. This is a good one, folks. Four minutes to go, first half. Kansas State, Florida Atlantic for a trip to the Final Four. That's it. I ain't passed. I was scared to turn it over. Oh, here we go. Up top. Excuse me. Home court advantage. Home court advantage. We in New York. Oh my God, that kid is strong. That's the weight room, baby. Up top. Stop eating. We turn it up. He's deep in that bag. Yeah, he's in his Louis. He's in his Louis. He's deep in that bag. Get off me, kid. <laughs> Is that a real Louis or a fake Louis? That's real. That's a real Louis. That is the real deal right here, baby. How, how about him shaming the guy who's eating? How does he stop, stop eating? Miss, stop eating, man. Pay attention to the game, man. Great. Thanks I to Marcus for wearing that. It's been, a, been quite the story. And his brother Marquise going to work up and over the big man. Rosado comes up short. That's exactly what Florida Atlantic wants Noel to settle for. Here's Davis, left-handed layup. John L. Davis. He's a second-half cooker, but he may get going here at the end of this first half. You know they're going to call his number. Just his four points. Two-point FAU lead. Three and a half to go in the first half. And much-needed transition point now. That's their first transition. See if they can get something positive out of this one. Okay, stay with their sixth turnover. That time Tomlin. A little miscommunication with his target. Yeah, Rosado has a mismatch inside. Seals his owner trying to get it over the top. But excellent defense right here by Kansas State by not allowing the ball to get inside. And up ahead, Noel. And Carter couldn't run it down. Missed opportunity for Kansas State. And, and that's a classic case of why didn't the ball go inside? Because it was ball pressure. So it wasn't a clean pass to get and take advantage of Rosado on the post. And ultimately, when the pass tried to get inside, it was in traffic. So that's very good recognition by Kansas State, but very good on the ball defense. Season low five turnovers against Michigan State. They really protected it well. Seven thus far. Kansas State did give it away in the Big 12 quite a bit. That was one of their weaknesses, but again, they play up tempo. They move the ball, a lot of passes, a lot more possessions, so the numbers are going to be big. Martin, long three, back iron. And let's see who they give that one to. Masood and Weatherspoon come together. And it's going the other way. This April, you can watch Masters Live on the CBS Sports app, streaming on Paramount Plus for coverage of featured groups Amen Corner and holes 15 and 16. Weatherspoon gets hit with the foul, means a one and one for Ish Masood, transfer from Wake Forest. Masood and Noel were the two that stayed. Both transferred in, but they were in the program prior to Jerome Tang taking over. They had two players in their entire program. And they're watching their Big 12 rivals and their in-state rivals, the Kansas Jayhawks, go win the national championship. And their basketball team has two people, no coaches, no head coach. And here they are, the Elite Eight. 
And the top seed Jayhawks are out. Three-pointer no good. Tomlin with a rebound. But that goes back to Coach Tang and his excellent coaching staff for recruiting the right type of players that are able to play in the system. Missed shot right there, Tom, and able to keep it alive. But it's not easy getting 10 new faces, but when they enjoy playing with each other and being coached, here's the result mm. of that positivity. Created instant culture. Yes. Gaffney misses a three. Sills touched it last. That'll be FAU ball with a minute 55 remaining in half number one. And a reminder to get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I women's tournament on NCAA.com. You know what helped when I was talking to Jerome Tang, Coach Jerome Tang, this is what he said. This, this really struck me. When players come by his house, he doesn't want them just to know where the restroom is at. He wants them to know their plates, the spoons, the forks, and knives. He wants them to be family. I, I want them to see how I treat my wife and my kids and the coaches. That that's why their culture is being set at a high standard. Good finish by Martin inside. They said he blocks off 15 minutes every other week, and they talk about Life. something other than basketball. One on one, Noel goes strong. He lays it in. He's got some finishing ability too. No, he does. It, you know, again, being short his whole life, he understands the value of being able to finish. Don't get me wrong. He's going to make some shots, but you can't overcommit. That time, just an excellent move. He was able to attack the defense before they got shot. And speaking of defense, got a steal. Baseball pass to Sills. Sills missed the layup. Oh, he's one of the high flyers in college basketball, but he blew a tire on the way up. Well, in his mind, he's thinking about how he's going to dunk it. He's watch him get his feet together. He wants to dunk this basketball because we know he's a high flyer, plus 40% vertical. You see what I'm saying? And he lost it, Ooh. and then he lost concentration. So as a result, he's not able to finish that. That would have been a showstopper. MSG, baby. They get MSG, want, you want to get the crowd on their feet. Just a little bit of panic right yep. at the end, and it ends up it's free throws. Two free throws coming here for John L. Davis. FAU in the double bonus. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Ernie Clark, Kenny, Charles, Jay Wright. Who else is in there? They'll break down the first half. They'll look ahead to our second Elite Eight game of the night. UConn and Gonzaga from Las Vegas. But think about this, Brian. That's a four-point swing. You know, my, you don't get the two for Kansas mm -hmm. State, but you get the two for FAU. Puts you up four, gives you a little momentum. Just keep in mind how that happens going into yeah. half and coming out. That critical miss layup. Good call. Noel for three. And Masood kept it alive, but into the hands of Martin. FAU wants to run it. Martin probing. Gives it up. Davis passes up a three. On the drive. Puts it up. No. Golden wrestling with it. And Igiola got a hand on it. They're going to call that a held ball. That was quick. That was quick. Possession arrow belongs to Florida Atlantic. What? The hustle was there. The timing. But it was a quick jump ball because neither player really I don't, I don't think Golden really had control. He had his hand on the yeah. ball. But not too much a jump ball in my opinion. Timeout. 43 and a half to go in the first half yeah. by Nissan as Davis takes it to the paint. Well, you, when you cut, you're going to have openings. You see the opening right here in the offense. Now, maybe he doesn't get it, but at the same time, that is there. He gets it inside. Now you're able to finish. This is the problem and the challenge when you have against a team with multiple ball handlers and guys that can cut and read defenses. There's gaps, and you keep maintain the spacing. Now you're able to control that, and even a pump fake sometimes. Now you kick it out to the wing. Guess what, Brian? You may be open for a three-point shot. Florida Atlantic, Jim, 11 assists on their 14 made baskets. They lead it by four. And they have the possession after the tie-up. Well, just think if they only had six turnovers instead of 12, what maybe the lead could be mm -hmm. in regards to where they're at. Again, this is a team that doesn't play perfect all the time. You mentioned it in the first half against Tennessee, the early turnovers, but they kind of settled themselves in right at the ship and ultimately, you know, got themselves right here playing for a Final Four opportunity. Baseline out of bounds. 43.5 remaining in this first half. Into the hands of John L. Davis. Davis got a smooth game. He finds Golden and Golden able to lay it in. Dusty May drawing up a winner in that timeout. That was a tight window, too. Not, not a lot of space to not only make the pass, but dribble. Get a steal. No, Noel. 
Takes it right back. Noel now pushes. Noel. Ooh, Golden with the block. And a little stare down. This is a much different looking Vlad Golden than what we've seen in this tournament. You mentioned it in regards to his awareness, but his confidence in none better than right now. Not coming down using that size. Get that shot out of here. <laughs> Say watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code right now to download. Well, guess what? Vlad has a golden opportunity to be a part of something special, which is that. get to a Final Four. You get that right there? But the ability for him to separate himself with clearing space, rebounding the basketball, being a playmaker, being a deterrent at the rim. We saw the block the last time, but... That's, listen, this is a Big 12 player. He played a, you know what I mean, Texas Tech. The guy can play. You know, it's just a better fit for him here. Played for Chris Beard at Texas Tech, transferred in. He's had a big first half. About a second and a half, separating shot clock and game clock. And Noel gets the big man on him again. Bullet pass, and Sills finishes this time. Those tight windows that Noel can find. That takes us to the end of the first half. Woo, entertaining game in the Elite Eight. Noel with 15 points, 12 in the last seven minutes. Picked up his seventh assist in the first half. Nice finish, Kansas State. Needed that one. We got a four point game. Everybody in the studio in New York City standing by. They'll take you through it. The weekend has arrived. The Elite Eight in New York City and a trip to the Final Four in Houston is on the line. You compare that to Florida Atlantic, at least six players have one assist. So multiple playmakers are able to initiate the offense. That's what makes FAU so tough. It's a little bit different and more challenging, maybe a little easier to defend versus the Wildcats. Very eager to hear what Jerome Tang had to say. Ali LaForce was there. What do you got, Ali? He said, we have to guard without fouling. We put him in the bonus way too early. Defensively, he thinks they're too spread out. He wants them to be more compact, make things difficult in the paint. They were in the bonus at the 10-minute mark of that first half. So free throws for Florida Atlantic, ended up eight for eight. Took the same amount of free throws. Keontae Johnson, that's a guy that Kansas State wants to get going here. Keontae Johnson and Marquise Noel are the two top scorers for Kansas State. Two of the top five scorers in the Big 12, as a matter of fact. They went three and four, Johnson and Noel. That's gonna be an offensive foul away from the ball. Brian Greenlee gets hit with the foul, and Kansas State will take over down two. This is off the ball right here. Two players getting tangled up, and the official was saying that Greenlee hooked the arm. And that's his third foul. Gaffney now enters the game, and back to Keontae Johnson. Only played eight minutes in that first half. Picked up two fouls, but look for Coach Tain to run another play for him to kind of get him started because I don't think from a size perspective on the guard side FAU can match up with him. Johnson went for 22 against Michigan State. Had some big lobs, big plays inside. And he runs right over Davis and scores it inside. He, he can go bully ball with the best of them. He is a wide body. Hey listen, it's easy money when he's determined to get to a spot and he's able to get that big body closer to the rim. I love the no call. Good recovery there by Johnson. Forces the turnover. Noel head up. He finds Keontae Johnson. Passes up the shot. Gives it right back. Open down underneath. Close quickly, but he scores anyway. Naquan Tomlin. Kansas State in front. Davis. Long on the three. Kansas State on a 6-0 run to open this half. Looking for more. No, look. Tomlin. Oh, blocked by Golden, a chase down from the big man from Russia. Boy, is he giving him a game. I know Charles Barkley was all <laughs> in on Vlad Golden. He's never heard of him until him. tonight. He's making a name for himself in New York City. That one's in and out and saved by Boyd. Last touch by Johnson, FAU ball. Well, Golden. This is as fast as he's going to run, but it's fast enough to get oh. back. And how about not only Golden, but Elijah Martin yes. getting back in transition again. It, it seems like 
non-consequential, but two players sprinting back to take away a layup is huge in a night in a tightly knit game like this one. Yeah, give Martin that block officially. It was yes. going to be a block either way. Martin got it first. Quick release on the layup. Blasting to the basket, John L. Davis. Remember, we told you, if you're with us at the beginning, he's had monster second halves in the NCAA tournament. Noel, too hot. <laughs> he faked out his own man that time. Tomlin was looking up for a rebound. You better be careful. You may get one in the nose. I know. I'm with real, Noel. With this young man, you better watch out. Now, that time, I think he'd have been better off throwing a lob at the rim. Because Golden had committed a little bit to Noel. And that one, that soft little touch at the rim. One of the few errors you'll see Noel make, though. Florida Atlantic really sharing the ball well. That's going to be a foul on Keontae Johnson. His third. Tough. Dives for the ball, gets into the legs. And picks up number three. Well, and I, and I love the hustle, but it is the correct call because there was contact being made. You say, well, both guys are going for the ball. But Gaffney had the inside position in regards to where the ball came from, the contact was there, but I love the fact that Jerome Tang is keeping Johnson on, on the floor. David Gasson takes over for Tomlin. Watch those two, Golden and Gasson. Golden gets to the middle, nothing there for him. Elijah Martin, step back three on its way. It's good, Elijah with a gooseneck. Florida Atlantic back in front. Could you say that, Martin? It's a little shorter version of Keontae Johnson I, I would, in I regards to exactly strength, that. power, athleticism. Got that same junkyard dog yep. look to him. And this is Johnson. He is fouled. Jerome Tang showing a lot of trust here in Johnson. Well, watch Martin. Patient. You allow Golden to set the screen. And then the step back was because what? Keontae Johnson chose to kind of try to meet him at a point thought he was getting to the Andy elbow but Johnson. Martin was able to use that step back and again it's a lot easier for a right-handed player going left to utilize that step back see the numbers for Keontae Johnson just shy of 18 a game only six tonight foul trouble in the first half and that's in and out show your love for your favorite NCAA team with officially licensed fan gear for the best selection of team apparel and accessories just head to NCAA.com slash shop. Transfer from Florida. Collapsed on the floor. Keontae Johnson two years ago. Serious heart issue. Now he's back. He's in an amazing run for him. It's going to be a foul. See who they get here. And they're going for Golden. So a foul on the FAU big man away from the ball. Kansas State basketball. Yeah, right there in the push in the back. Easy call. Hassan right there, preparing himself to get the rebound and Golden too. That forearm shiver right in the back. Okay, Gasson and Golden are talking a lot of noise to each other. That has been going on here for a little while. Boy picks up Noel. Golden Atlantic changed the defense to pick up Noel. What a pass! Gasson right there in the dunker spot. I mean, Marcus Noel just jo dropping jaws here. I mean, this window was so tight to get the pass in. And <laughs> I couldn't see behind the defense. I thought this ball was going out of bounds, but he saw Gasson. Wow. But that's but here, here's the timing of it. Gasson cut at the right time because Golden was up off the baseline, which gave him room, Gasson, to cut. The timing of that was impeccable, and the delivery, outstanding. Gasson transferred from Virginia Tech. It's amazing that they've come up with such great chemistry this quickly. What? Officials going to the monitor here, Jim. They're, they're checking to make sure the oh, okay. score is accurate. That is Doug Chow's here. Been a part of five Final Fours. He has officiated two national championship games. Veteran crew, Doug Shouse, Doug Sermons, Earl Walton. Standby official Clarence Armstrong. You, you know, you said it was a beautiful play. Good luck. Missed it. Martin. And that's over the top of the backboard. Hit the shot clock. So, Kansas State ball. You talked about the continuity between the two and how quick it came. But I tell you this, Brian. When you have an un selfish player a willing passer 
you're going to cut and do all the little things oh, you yeah. need to do to get the ball and be on the center and talk to him and watch tape with him to find ways to make the offense click. Well, the annals of New York City point guards is a full buck. But Marquise Noel has his chapter now after what he did Thursday night against Michigan State in the Sweet 16. He can shoot it too. And he reigns one in. Noel buries a triple. He's got 18 points. He's got nine assists. Davis looking inside for Golden. Knocked away Gasson up ahead. Johnson, that was way too far ahead of Johnson to run down. Gasson a little over anxious. Marquise Noel, Jimmy, showstopper in New York City, and he's doing it again in the Elite Eight. KSU! KSU! Oh, I started I started a chant. I right by him, Marquise. I told you. you I know you can hear your brother. It's twin celebrity. I got the best brother in the world. I got the best brother in the world. I got the best brother in the world. Oh, Marcus, you got to have a good hype man, too. Marquise Noel, Bishop Lachlan High School in Brooklyn. That's where Mark Jackson went to high school, among others. A star there, and the little man is putting on a big show. Ali LaForce, this guy's turned into one of the biggest stars in New York City this weekend. As he told me, I may be little in stature, but not in my mind and not in my heart, and he has put on the best show on the biggest stage. He is so proud to be here in New York City in front of all of his favorite athletes and stars that they continue to reach out to him. One of the best moments Thursday was when Isaiah Thomas was in the stands. Not only was he starstruck, but he said, I started chirping at him a little bit. I mean, this kid is afraid of absolutely nothing. One thing I think is beautiful, too, he is coaching this team on the court as much as Coach Tang is. And Coach Tang had a great line. He said, I don't want him to just see the game how I see it. I want to learn how to see the game the way he sees it. That's how talented he is on and off the court, guys. But the trust factor that he has from his coaching staff, more importantly from his teammates, allows him to be the general. Speaking of general, Johnson. Johnson, huge here in the second half. Coming like he, alive. Coming alive. And he said it between Noel and Johnson. They have to set the tone offensively. And we see both of that taking place here in the second half. Martin, Kansas State really guarding that three-point line. They force another turnover. Kansas State trying to keep it rolling here. 16 giveaways for the Owls. Kassan, Johnson, oh, and Martin takes it away. A steal. Here's Boyd now. Boyd can't finish it. Off the rim it goes. Keontae Johnson sends it back the other way. Sills not afraid. Going at Golden. No good. Hamsters on the wheel. Back and forth they go. And Coach Dusty May still wants him to continue to push the ball despite the turnovers. You, you got to be who you are at this point of the season. You know that. Mm. Block. John L. Davis with free throws. And Johnson's going to pick up the foul. That is number four on Keontae Johnson. And this is a huge story for Coach Lang in Kansas State right now. But imagine if Coach May says, no, slow it up. Just, just get out of who we are. You don't get that far. Good point. See, it's, it's just, who are you at this particular point? Yes, we turned it over. Yes, it's frustrating. But no, we're not going to change how we play. We just have to be better at what we're doing. Mark that score. Five-point game. And Rosado with the extended elbow and offensive foul. Gasson takes the charge but well, that's the second offensive foul in the last three possessions for florida atlantic and that's just excellent anticipation by gasson right there to slide those puppies to get in front of Gazzato. this florida atlantic team has won 10 straight games they had a 20 game winning streak earlier in the year 34 and 3 their record but 18 and 2 in conference usa oh well Hit it out, it goes if he made that one. He's already had a few like that. Or he can't get it to go. Gaffney. Back comes Kansas State. Bodies on the floor on the other end. Noel between the legs. Too much. Sill stepped on the sideline. FAU ball. Good effort there by Desi Sills. And may a little too much mustard on this one. I knew this was coming because he saw. Gasson the whole time coming. Oh, no, that's oh, Tomlin. Tomlin. And Tomlin hesitated just a little bit. I think he saw some traffic in the middle of the lane. He hesitated just enough yeah. to make that pass uh, non-catchable. 
Not a bad pass, mm -mm. but the target on it wasn't ready for it. That's twice Tom Lee has been like that. Kassan, hands up, blocks it. Florida Atlantic having a tough time right now. Five point game. Sills. Carter now. Greenlee, an excellent defender on him. Carter can't get it to go. Tom Lee, oh, he missed the dunk. Tom Lee got the board, couldn't elevate to dunk it though. And now on the other end, Brian Greenlee, that's money. What a swing that was. Instead of a, a dunk and two for Kansas State, Greenlee gives him three more. Five-point swing. Greenlee's got 11 now, and it's a two-point game. Sills looking for help. Noel, he'll shoot it from there. Oh, he'll make it from there. Noel puts Kansas State back up five. Going the other way. Marquise Noel right in the middle of it all. Made for the big moments. But they said he who hesitates Finishes last, but nah, not with Noel. I just was taking time to get my shoulders and my legs up underneath me to let it go. And see, this pressure, not even touching the ball, forces that turnover. The intensity of a March Madness game at its peak. We got 12 minutes in regulation here on this one. Tomlin resets it for his point guard. Slips it. Tomlin. Oh, strong with the ball. Finish. Harlem to Harlem on the connection. Seven point Kansas State lead. FAU desperate for one now. They need a basket. Forrest open for three. Catch and shoot. No good. Davis able to secure the offensive rebound. And Noel got a hand on that one. Take a breath. 16 to shoot, timeout on the floor, FAU basketball. What a beautiful two-man game, just comes back off in the middle of the court. Donnell Davis a little late, money in the bank, another assist. Kansas State up seven. Shut up, Jimmy. One guy can't can do it all. One guy can do it all. He is doing it all. <laughs> Big possession here for Florida Atlantic. They are down seven. Greenlee has had the hot hand. Got Tomlin on him. Weatherspoon inside to Golden. Golden, little turnaround jump hook is good. Golden continues his stellar play in the Elite Eight. Double figures for him. Noel has scored 21. He's assisted on 26. Back into the hands of the point guard. Maybe most importantly, no ill effects of the ankle injury. Three-pointer flies, missed it. Stuck it in the neck. FAU trying to get on a run of their own. Remember, they play in spurts. Ooh, almost a steal. John L. Davis, big second half performer. Gets the shooter's bounce. Little push shot goes. John L. Davis with 10 points. And you go for that steal. Now it's a four on three on the back end of that. Davis able to get two feet in the lane. Golden underneath. You don't want to leave him. That opened up the shot for Davis. Kansas State took down Montana State in Greensboro and Kentucky. And then one of the all-time Sweet 16 games beating Michigan State two days ago. Tomlin gets to the cup and scores a foul. Naquan Tomlin a chance at three. Well, Naquan Tomlin has the advantage out front to put the ball on the deck and attack it. And that time finishing through the contact, I love it because now you bring Golden out of his comfort zone. You force him to have to defend in space. And that time Tomlin was able to get the best of him. 11 and 6 for Naquan Tomlin. Did not play high school basketball. From Harlem, he grew up playing at Rucker Park, which is right across the street from his high school. We send it over to Ali LaForce. Part of that maybe because he was five foot nine his freshman year and six foot seven by the time he was a senior. He was always a guard and he said those guard skills are coming in handy now being able to play one through four guys. Just showed it right there Ali. Shifty. Chuko All-American was Tomlin finding his way to Kansas State. Difference maker. 
Shot clock to nine. Double team. Golden gets the pass from Davis. Missed it. Got it back. Golden fighting for it. Oh! Tomlin! Big rejection! Knocked out of bounds by Greenlee! Wildcats ball! A uh, lot of action on this play to take away this basket is the activity inside Gasson right there providing Ooh. support so Tomlin could come over the top right there. Excellent interior defense that time by the Wildcats. Every person's dream who's 5'7 <laughs> to grow and be able to block a shot like that. <laughs> Believe me, I speak from experience. Greenlee guarding Noel. Trying to get a step. Gives it up. Desi Sills. Greenlee, step for step. Ooh, Sills shook him. Sills missed it. Greenlee pokes it, but it's into the hands of Carter. Another chance here. Kansas State. Down on this end of the floor for a while. And looking up top. John L. Davis snuffed it out. And playing free safety on that one. Davis kicks it to Greenlee. Three-pointer. That's good. Jimmy Greenlee's hit four three-pointers. He got them started, got them settled in this game, and now he's making them when it matters here in the second half. Smart. He sprinted after that turnover right to the corner. No one was able to get to him in time, and... Davis able to put it on time for him. Noel, three-pointer. Oh, okay. Marquise, you got to call Glass. He had a little half walk away on that one. Still goes in. He's got the magic in him right now. Well, you remember the bank shot at the end of the shot clock? Too? You, you know what I mean? Hey, listen. Energy, the ball will find its way to be positive. And that time, kiss off the glass. Golden just backing his way in. I like that matchup. Yeah, I like to see a little bit more of that in regards to not the initial post up, Brian. Swing it, swing it. Deep post position for Golden. Add to that 12 points and 10 rebounds. Double-double for Vlad Golden. Having one of the best games of his career. Kansas getting into the half-court set now. Sills kicks it to the corner. That's Tomlin. Missed it. Leather Spoon with the rebound. John L. Davis. Three-pointer. Pull up. No good. Carter clears it. Kansas State by four. Three for seven from beyond the arc for FAU this half. Kansas State's made half of their three-pointers this half. Noel spins. Noel drives on Golden. No, Davis, another rebound. Weatherspoon up ahead. He'll pull up for a three in transition. Laces one. Brandon Weatherspoon. The transition three makes it a one-point game. Timeout on the floor. Atlantic on a little bit of a spurt right here. They made eight three-pointers, as has Kansas State. Still dominating. He had the rebounding. How about Tom Herman taking over as the head football coach at Florida Atlantic? Spent some time at Houston. Urban Meyer's longtime assistant was at Texas. And now the FAU football program. And they are loving this ride that Florida Atlantic has given them. Keontae Johnson with his four fouls. Back in. Air ball going after it. Right into the hands of Davis. Florida Atlantic can regain the lead here. See if you're a glass half full or glass half empty guy. 20 turnovers for Florida Atlantic. The most in the tournament this year. Yet, they've got a chance to go in front right now. Boy, the lefty. No. Golden. Offensive rebound. Going in strong. And Golden. Power jam. It's almost like he waited to see if the official was going to call a foul. You know it. He said, no, no foul. I'm just going to throw this down. FAU in front. Golden's got 14 and 11. Six of those 11 rebounds are offensive. Noel finds his buddy, Masood. Masood, contested three. In and out it goes. And there's Golden again. Boyd. Gives it up. Davis hangs and is fouled. FAU in transition. They'll get free throws out of it. Wow. 
Vlad Golden. You'll know his name after tonight, Charles Barkley. The seven-footer from Russia is having a night. FAU Owls rocking the flock. 10-1 record in games decided by five points or less. Second best number in the country. Only Missouri was better in those close games. But part of their narrative is they won 17 games by 15 or more points. Point being, they've won low scoring games, high scoring games, blowout and close ones. And as we enter into the last five minutes, we were talking about this off air that the turnover situation, you can overcome it when you have time a little bit. Mm -hmm. As you bleed under five minutes, now you can't afford to have those miscues because you have less possessions in the game and less times you can have those empty possessions. So let's keep our eyes on both teams in regards to how they value the, the pill and make the right plays. A great offensive yeah. rebound, speaking of which. Coming off the miss. Back inside to the big man, Golden. Got his head up. Tomlin's on him. Spins right there. He's Noel. He just sniffed it out like he knew it was coming. He gets the steal. He had five steals in that Sweet 16 game Thursday against Michigan State, including the steal that secured the game in overtime. Kansas State can tie and take the lead. Gasson, two-man game with Noel. Noel taking a look at the clock. Five to shoot, the floater, no. And it's Martin who wrestles it away. Whoa, a held ball. FAU ball here. I thought Martin was coming down with that, but they get a quick whistle on the tie-up. Well, this is a tough possession, and because Noel had the ball the entire time. He wanted to try to get the mismatch off the pick and roll, but I think sometimes you give it up, cut through, go to the weak side, get it back, and then go into your action. That gives you a lot of momentum and pace to your pick and roll. Makes it tougher to defend. Boyd gives it up. Greenleaf's had the hot hand. Hit some big threes. Now he drives. Sills missed the layup. Kansas State down two. They're on a drought now. Haven't scored in four minutes. Keontae Johnson playing with four fouls. John L. Davis all over. Johnson powers his way in. Ooh, that's a block. Oh, you think there weren't some anxious ears over there on that Kansas State sideline? But it is a block on Davis and not the fifth on Johnson. Yeah, Keontae Johnson was upset that the foul earlier didn't get called. So he made it his business to attack right back. And this is a smart move by Johnson. You didn't get the call. You told the official, okay, you go right back at him in a play where now, whether you like it or not, he was able to pick up that blocking call on John L. Davis. Rosado back on the floor. I love that tattoo of the heart behind his ear. That heart issue that shut him down for two years. Had to get clearance through the Mayo Clinic and the NBA doctors. Missed it. Big miss. Boyd, who hit the game-winning layup in their first-round matchup against Memphis. FAU was down in that game. Keep your eye. Rosado's in there. I'm sorry. Rosado's in there. A lot of more back cuts, passes. Greenlee. This is a jump shot. And he's fouled. Greenlee. Both feet behind the line. That's three for Brian Greenlee as Tomlin comes out and clips him. Well, does Tomlin get him at the end? Because the contest is there, and you lean him forward a little bit, and it's underneath. And Jimmy, we got three free throws coming. What'd you see? Well, exactly what you said off camera is that it's the foul underneath because that time Tomlin did not allow Greenlee to have his clear landing space. And the official Earl Walton came and confirmed that too. So Brian Greenlee is at the free throw line. Shooting three. His officials have been dialed in as well. Done a great job thus far. Brian Greenlee who misses the first. Fort Atlantic has been making their free throws in this tournament for the season as a team, a 72% free throw shooting team. Greenlee, a 64% free throw shooter. Well, he's an excellent three-point shooter, and he gets out when they go. And that, to me, from a guard perspective, I love guards to shoot 75% plus, but that's more mental than anything because he has to stroke from the three-point line, two-point shots, but it's something in between his ears when he gets to the free-throw yeah. line that doesn't allow him to be as effective. Two out of three for Greenlee. 
You remember Noel's bank shot? Yep. That's the Talk last bucket Kansas State scored. Wow. That was at the 839 mark. Noel made a three off the window. It's a 10 0 FAU run. Wild shot. Gets the call. And Noel's got a couple of free throws coming. Well, it, you go back to it, but isn't that, we talked about be who you are? Well, FAU is going to hit spurts and pockets. That's why it's important that they keep the game in balance. So when they make those runs now, they're able to be up four and not be dissuaded by the fact that maybe some turnovers and missed shots happen. They've been through it and seen it the entire season. That foul was called on Bryant Greenlee. Significant because that's his fourth. He is their top perimeter defender. Noel can't connect. Well, it's the greatest culinary competition in the world, period. Tournament of Champions, it's hosted by Guy Fieri. All new episodes Sunday night, 8, 7 Central on Food Network. Getting into crunch time now. 3.49 left, three-point game, FAU. The nine seed out of Conference USA. Their first trip to the Elite Eight. Trying to make it their first to the Final Four. The program-changing team here. John L. Davis, no. And there's Johnson flying high for the rebound. Great play call that time. The confusion by the Wildcats of who was going to pop back on Davis. Davis had it. It's a shot a little too strong. Noel lost it out of bounds. And they're going to say Kansas State basketball. Yeah, Martin stuck his hand in right at the last minute. Watch Martin right there. Good call. Yep. Plenty of time here. 20 to shoot. And looking up top, Sills just pushes it. Ooh, did Johnson get him in bounds? Johnson, that fade away. That's a shot short. And Golden rips down the rebound. And a foul on David Gasson. Well, if FAU wins this game, you're going to look back. And it's going to be the Vlad Golden game. He is having a terrific Elite Eight. Yeah, good contest. Elijah Martin that time on the 13 Deontay rebounds. Johnson. Yeah, Deontay Johnson shot. You said it. I mean, impact. Who, you know who the main players are, but isn't it always the others that somebody just steps up and plays a key role in a critical situation, critical game that kind of tips the balance? Here's Greenley now. Play with the four fouls. Foul trouble. Johnson and Gasson with four apiece. Gasson now on Greenley. Turn in the corner. Martin catch and shoot. It's good! Elijah Martin, a clutch three, and FAU is up six. Noel back to work. Wants it back. Greenlee tried to stay with him. Noel for three, and a foul underneath. It's and a, that belongs on to Johnson. Johnson. That is going to foul out one of Kansas State's best players. Keontae Johnson is out. This one is, on, is going to be back over in here when this foul takes place. Johnson right there pushes off to try to go after the offensive rebound. And I'll say this, the possessions have been stagnant for Kansas State. While on the opposite end, ball movement, has provided a variety of higher percentage shots for FAU. And that's been the difference. Down the stretch of the game, the ball hasn't gotten bogged down. And that's something that Dusty May, Coach Dusty May talked about against this Kansas State defense. On the switches, don't get bogged down. Don't get stagnant. Continue to move. Total opposite by Kansas State because the ball is only staying in one position and they're not as fluent offensively as they were earlier in this half. In the bonus now, foul number seven for Kansas State. One and one, rattles it home. Elijah Martin just hit that big three-pointer. Martin out of Summit, Mississippi, North Pike High School. That was a be beautiful day. I'm sorry, beautiful play call by yeah. Coach May. For two coming up big when it matters they're a nine seed by no means a blue blood as far away from it but this Florida Atlantic team they are real 
a 15-1 run. Noel falls down. And that's going to be a foul. Looks like, what, they're going to get Greenlee on this? They are. That's it for him. Brian Greenlee's out. Foul number five on Brian Greenlee. I'm surprised because watch at the end. That foul is on. Oh, he got Greenlee on the reach. He has him on the reach. Nick the contact Boyd. may have come from Nick Boyd, but the reach, I think, ahead of time is where Earl Walden saw it. That's tough right there. So That's he's tough. out. It's a big piece. And he'll exit with 16 points. He drilled some big three-pointers, not to mention what he did defensively. Ish Masood now at the line. Well, these are valuable right now. Clock is stopped. You're down eight. He's got a sweet stroke. 92% from the free throw line. Masood had 15 against Michigan State. Only two free throws in that game. It was one for two. K-State with their free throws this half. Now four for eight. Carter back on the floor. Jerome Tango, a little offense defense yep. here. Yeah, good call, Brian. Masood won't be down there long. Two and a half minutes. First year head coach, Jerome Tang. Big possession. Florida Atlantic, ball control mode right now. Martin, picked up by Carter. Almost turned him over. Carter's a handful out there. Here's Boyd now. Boyd drives, gets a step into traffic. Boyd in trouble. And it's going to be a held ball, and that's Kansas State ball on the possession. Defensive stand for Kansas State. Yeah, but Nick Boyd got himself too deep without any options. He lost the basketball. And that time too deep, unsure of what he wanted to do, but excellent closeout defense to collapse that opening by Gasson that time. No fouls to give. Next FAU foul is going to put Kansas State at the line for two. It'll be in the double bonus. Now it's Boyd. Switch it on to Noel. Noel, long three. It's good! Marquise! Three-point game! Chanel Davis leaves it for Golden. Oh, he missed the dunk. Masood defending. Right to the hands of Boyd and a foul. Gasson. David Gasson with his fifth foul. He's out. Uh, just when you thought it was safe to get back in the water. <laughs> wow. The shark bites you. You go under that screen deep, and that's what it is because he was so far above the three-point line to talk to go under. But again, the lack of discipline that time by the Wildcats to secure the defensive rebound results now in the Nick Boyd getting to the free throw line where he's 64%. It's going to be very interesting to see what Jerome Tang does here. It looks like he's going to go small. Had the option of a Bayami Igiola, but instead he's got Carter back on the floor. Do you have options see with Tomlin who can finish? Masood who can step out and shoot that brings Golden out of the paint a little bit. One and one here for Nick Boyd. Missed it. Who's got it? Martin. Offensive board. Big one right there. FAU can add to their lead. 14 offensive rebounds. Shout out Davis. Their star. Davis lays it in. Florida Atlantic. Leads it by five. Marquise Noel driving. Noel hangs. He's fouled. Free throws for Marquise Noel. 106 remaining. Well, we talked about it with Tennessee. This is an outstanding offensive re uh, rebounding team, and then it leads to this. John L. Davis able to knock it in. We've been talking about Jada Kiss. We've been talking about Cam. We've been talking about. Mace, what about Freddie Gibbs from Gary, Indiana? He could be here watching his man, John L. Davis, go to work. Don't forget about the Jacksons. Oh, there you go. Well, you know, I was going to stay with the hip hop, not the r &B. <laughs> Noel carries a big free throw. His brother, Marcus. 
just like everybody else with all eyes on number one in white. Shoots at 89 percent. He's eight of nine from the line tonight. Make it nine out of ten. Marquise Noel put a 30 spot on the board in this Elite Eight game. 30 points, 11 assists. Igiola on the floor, guarding Golden. Screws are tightening up. One minute to go for a trip to the Final Four. FAU with the ball in the lead. Martin with Tomlin on him. Now the switch. Here's Boyd. Six to shoot. Martin looking for room. Three-pointer flies. Air ball. Kansas State ball. Three-point game. But Martin got the switch he wanted. You know, that's, that's the thing about it. Isiola was on him. Seven seconds. Now you can back him up and get to a 15-foot yeah. pull-up jump shot. You don't have to always get to the hole. Marquise Noel, he drives. Marquise Noel with the reverse, he missed it. Boy, didn't there with the rebound. Big rebound by the point guard. And a foul. Desi Sills fouls Nick Boyd. Boy, big board right there. Noel couldn't finish inside against a seven-footer. Well, that time is finishing. That was time just put a little too much spin on the ball. Because it was a great move. I love the quick attack before FAU was able to settle their defense. Unfortunately, just wasn't able to convert. But again, 29 seconds that we saw missed free throws from Florida Atlantic. This is critical right now to seal the deal or expand this lead. Shot clock is off. 29.9, Boyd knocks down the first. He's got another one coming. Two possession game now. That Cinderella narrative. It's a fun one to write, but it may not apply with these guys. It's a small nope. program, but this team, they got great talent, great skill. They miss it. Kansas State, down four, got to go quick. The Wildcats looking for a rally. That's Carter for three. He's got it. Big shot. Not over yet. Cam Carter makes it a one-point game. His first made three of the night, the biggest of the night. Florida Atlantic ball up one when we come back. You, Florida Atlantic, you shorten your passes. The inbounds person has to take the ball to his teammate. A long pass by this Kansas State team, they can get a deflection on it. So a lot of things can happen right for FAU, but it can also go wrong. And we see five across right now, Ooh. spread set. This has been a staple yep. for Dusty May. They're all fast and they all sprint. It's like a football play. Gets it into Forrest. Forrest back to Gaffney. Free throw shooters on the floor. Now the foul comes from Noel and Michael Forrest, the most experienced player on the roster. The guy who is out of eligibility after this tournament is going to step to the line to try to give Florida Atlantic a three-point lead. And that five across kind of takes away the trapping opportunity uh, for Kansas State. And two shots right now for the old head, so to speak, for FAU. Clutch, man. You is love it, to see it, players deliver in the clutch. Is it more fitting that he makes two big free throws since he was the first of the recruits of Dusty May and being here? Had 11 in the Sweet 16 game. He scored eight points in 80 seconds. He really turned the game in the middle of that 18-2 run against Tennessee. And he knocks them both in. Ish Masood comes on the floor. Jerome Tang, no timeout. He's got one left, and he's going to save it. 17.9 seconds left in regulation. He already called the players. going to be a quick pick and roll up top, I believe with Tomlin or maybe Masood coming off for a flare with Noel. Black Golden back on the floor as well. Rim protection 
and rebounding this NCAA tournament. It delivers every time. And we got one coming down the stretch. Noel gives it up. Tomlin going strong. He lays it in. One point game. Smart. Timeout on the floor. 8.6 left. Florida Atlantic leads it by one. Kansas State gets a quick two, Jim. I love it because what you do is put pressure on Florida Atlantic, not only to get the ball in bounds, but to get to the free throw line and, and make their free throw. But the quick play, that time no switching occurred on that pick and roll, which is in that case, I think you do want to do. Switch in that scenario. Yes, you may have Golden stuck on Noel, but maybe run him off the three-point line. But excellent execution that time by Kansas State. Do you even bother to take time and try to get a steal or a trap? No. Or do you foul right away? Foul right away. Under 10 seconds, you want to foul because you want to prolong and have as much time that you can have offensively. How about this? After the free throws. This night for Marquise Noel. He's gone for 30 points, 12 assists. Last time it was done, Anderson Hunt with you at LV. That was against Loyola Marymount. Billy Donovan on that list. Florida Atlantic has excellent free throw shooters. They get back in their, their football setup. Can run the baseline too. Gaffney will put it in, finds his man. Forrest, clock ticking, and they get the foul. That's the one guy. Florida Atlantic wanted with a ball in his hands. He just made two. He's in that rhythm, and he's going back to the line. Michael Forrest did not score in the first two games of this NCAA tournament, then found 11 big points in the Sweet 16. Biggest free throws of his life. Nothing but net. Now, Kansas State, no timeouts. I don't know what Dusty May does in practice, how he, what his philosophy is. Is he, if you make two, do you foul right away? Mm -hmm. Or do you wait till he gets to half court, bleed some time off the clock? I would practice it all year, but I'm over here sitting with you. Let's see what happens. Game on the line. Forrest. Cash right through the heart. Three-point game. Kansas State now needs a three to tie it. Clock ticks. Noel dribbles. He's looking for someone. Masu got to put it up. And that's it! The Owls of Florida Atlantic! They are headed to the Final Four! Upset after upset after upset. Florida Atlantic out of Conference USA takes out Kansas State. And they are flying high in South Florida. The team from Boca is going to Houston.